I hope you can hear me or listen to me through a bag. But we're out here looking at the mangroves. We saw this. We're like, what in the world is going on there? No, I didn't know one of it on that one. Well, now we have found one of the tunnels, uh, one of the mini tunnels that are out here. Um, in fact, Angel's back to behind me somewhere. <laughs> She's back there. I'll show you what this looks like in front of me. I've gotten used to doing that little flip thing. I'm not even using my paddle because as you can see by this, the uh, sticks are low enough that I can just grab on the sticks and so many of them have been broken off and cut off as you can see here. But people have come down through here and made this a nice little path. And there's several through here. I think there's uh, five or six that I've seen or should I say I've seen on the map. This is just Floating through the mangroves. It'd be a lot easier to do if I didn't have to hold this camera. Maybe I should get me a, uh, maybe one of you guys should buy me a uh, GoPro so I could mount it somewhere. <laughs> a canoe we're going to buy, I'll, I'll definitely have a GoPro of some sort. And a mount so that uh, uh, we can, I can get a little steadier picture. Are you making it? Yeah. <laughs> This is cool. This is definitely a bucket list thing and something that I wanted to do while here in here in Florida is uh is come down to the mangroves. Oh you can't see me with my hand in front of me, can you? Not you want to see me anyway, but <laughs> now I'm floating this side of the thing. She's going sideways. Great fun. If anything more happens, I'll uh, try to add to this video. A couple different ways you can do this. Uh, one is um, you can get a guided tour where they take you out to exactly where you need to go and they take you through uh, certain groves, um, mangroves. Yeah, take you through certain mangroves. Another one is do what we did. You just uh, go to a place that rents these boats and they actually take your boats to the spot where they recommend you get out at and, to, and give you a map. And we are... We are in this little white squiggly here on my finger. <laughs> See at the top, that white squiggly by my thumb? That's where we are now. So amazingly that we found it. I actually found it on the, the GPS on my phone. So Google Maps helped out a lot there. I did the actual uh, terrain instead of just the, the, the bulk map. But anyway, we found it here and this is a, a really cool mangrove. And uh, I, I need, I just quit using my paddle because it's just not wide enough in here for a good paddle. I mean, some places you get, it's eight feet wide, but other places it's, it's more like three, about as wide as your, your, uh, your kayak here. Yeah, about as wide as your kayak. So that's where, who's that? It looks cool because, well, it is cool. It really is definitely uh, a must do if you're ever in the Florida Keys. Take some time out and do the mangroves in a kayak. Um, <laughs> she's struggling. You're going to tip yourself over. <laughs> At least she's smiling when she's doing it. You can't go through sideways. <laughs> it's, it's not possible. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> she's struggling with it. <laughs> At least she's got a paddle as you can get the paddle and push off on it but uh anyway having a good time here because that's how we're living the coolest life that's for sure <laughs> these are a little low and get you knocked in the head a little bit but it's real nice looks like it's coming out to a clearing see it's real peaceful out here too you can hardly hear anything every now and then you hear someone talking they're on a the next stream over or something in a boat and every now and then you can hear something a motor running of some sort probably a motor boat or someone living on it doing maintenance and here's a little here's a little opening we already stopped and took a break because uh who wants to take a break out here in the sun when you can be in the shade in the mangrove trees and take a break 
Huh. Definitely a must do.